I've been using manifolds in Satisfactory for a long time. They've become my go-to building method. But I get it, sometimes it's frustrating waiting for that last machine in line to actually start working. And a bunch of you in the comments have wondered, do manifolds even work? So let's break it down why they take so long to spin up and how they do eventually become efficient. Take a Mark IV conveyor belt, for example. It can carry 480 items per minute. If you split it to feed two machines, it gets half, 240 items per minute. Now let's add a third split to feed the next two machines. Each of those two lines only gets a third of the total, or about 160 items per minute. But it keeps going. The next split, each machine gets just over 50 items, then 18, then 6. By the end, the final machine might only see two items per minute. And that's the moment where people usually say, manifolds are broken. But there's a catch. Those first few machines aren't using 160 items per minute. Maybe they only need 30. So once they fill up, their inputs back up. Now there's less demand upstream and the overflow starts moving downstream, feeding the next pair of machines and then the next and so on. Eventually all the machines fill up and the entire manifold becomes active. This is the beauty of overflow logic. No item is wasted. And once everything stabilizes, you can sport up to 16 machines on a single line like this. That's the magic of manifolds. Slow to start, but once they're full, they just work.